Okay, match match four. Let's see how this one goes. Oh, Bosh, I choose you. Okay, and you know what? These temples could actually... This is another reason why I had the temples in the list. Temples are going to be invaluable here. Um, so much so that I even wonder if I should lead on this, just because if I draw another land, that's going to be too much of a disaster. Yeah, I don't really know what playing turn one Monastery Sister really does all that much for me. But putting a land at the bottom... Ah, see, well, anyway. Well, it turns out that that didn't really make a difference, but... But I, I just... I, yeah, just drawing a land would have just been a total disaster. There's nothing that leads me to believe this is a Death Shadow deck, so... I'm going to just... Well, let's actually... No, let's do this first. I don't know. This is Temple first, actually. Yeah, I think this goes... See, this goes to the bottom. That's, uh... It's nothing about this that leads me to believe it's a Burn deck, other than that. There's no reason a Burn deck couldn't play Scalding Tarn, so actually this could be Burn. But there's... There is actually... There is actually just, just the reason that they're playing a, um... A land that could fetch a mountain to think it's Burn. Hopefully it isn't. Burn has so many, like... Other spells you want to play on turn one, Goblin Guide, Rift Bolt, okay, this um, so Spear, you name it. Every once in a while they play end of turn Lightning Bolt, but it's not always how it goes. Well, getting to resolve Student Pyre Match would be pretty nice. Let's, uh, let's play to that, shall we? I don't want to ditch the other Pyre Matcher, though, so we're probably going to have to ditch the Fountain and the Pirate Spell Bomb, which is fine by me. Maybe the maybe maybe the fountain was just kind of a free roll at this point. I guess I'm worried if I draw more fountains. Where I put one fountain in the bottom. Well, if we lose at exactly two or less life, then ooh. Uh, let's see. Its owner puts it on the top or bottom of their library. Okay. Well, I guess I'll put this on the top, right? I mean, is this was this really worth doing this? I mean, I guess top. Well, I was worried a little. I was worried for exactly one second before that went to the graveyard that they had ephemerate. Oof, that would be that would be difficult. What is this here? You can't cast more than one spell each turn. Whenever you cast a spell, draw a card. This seems this seems nutso. Um, I guess I will take that fountain free roll. Yeah, I will take that fountain free wall. Hopefully this doesn't screw us over somehow. Alrighty. And I guess we'll play the spell bomb. Jeez though, this is uh this is scary. Did blue is blue white control just gonna go nuts? On the other hand, they do have to take they do have to take off their turn three and they didn't bounce a card like if this was Teferi. So let's just let's just let's just see if this Maybe it was better than Teferi not. Now, if they play Supreme Verdict, that's going to definitely go a long way to this being better than Teferi. But, let's see. Well, I get Teferi and this. I guess why not, right? Yeah, I don't think they want to really play more than one spell each turn. So this this card it seems a little nuts, not going to lie. It's kind of like a one-sided... Um, it's kind of like a one-sided uh, Phyrexian Arena in their deck that doesn't lose them life and even can draw more than one card by them casting spells on our turn. Okay, so let's, uh, um, let's not get cute. Let's send both of these at the Teferi, and I know that seems weird, but if they have Path and they protect the Teferi, that actually could lose us the game on the spot. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to play, yeah, play this. And we're going to play Season Pyromancer. And we're going to hope they don't have Supreme Verdict. That would be very bad. And I guess we'll hedge just ever so slightly against Supreme Verdict by keeping this in hand. The fact that it is haste um, means that we're not too punished. Man, so good. Only... Yeah, if they play Supreme Verdict, I don't know that we can actually overcome this amount of card advantage. They're not low enough on life that we can necessarily rely on Swiss Beer just hasten it up to win. Oh no, I think it's Supreme Verdict. Oh, good, okay. Big Teferi we can deal with. Supreme Verdict we cannot. Okay. 
Okay, Solitude, I think we can deal with two, although this is definitely, definitely a little worse than... I guess with this card, it makes a lot of sense with the Evokers. Uh, we could, we could like, uh, Pirate Spellbomb, I'd rather Pirate Spellbomb the Solitude, to be honest. And I guess I'll do that, I mean, right? Like, I can't, it's hard for me to imagine a better play. Lifelink, too, is kind of rough. Hammer. Not bad. Alright, I guess we have to try to get... Just get them dead as soon as possible. No Supreme Verdict, please. And I know they drew a bunch of cards, so it is possible they have it. But no Supreme Verdict, please. Okay, definitely Hammer Bergarden back to hand, please. This could have been a mistake because if we draw a burn spell, this might be our only chance to actually to actually kill them if they have a cryptic command, which they probably do, and there's the burn spell. But this does mean we have two burn spells we can threaten them with, and they can't play more than one spell each turn. So does that mean we've got it locked up? I don't know. Ooh, Solitude. Um, do they actually live? Let's see. Ooh, they block a one-drop prowess creature. Ooh, this is actually nasty for us. Very nasty. Dang, that's... That's nasty. Let's see if they attack. If they attack and they cryptic, then they can't play another spell, and maybe we just win with the hammer plus lightning bolt. Um, if I mean, obviously, if we knew we were drawing lightning bolt, I think it would have been better to just lightning bolt this, and then I think we win. Um, okay, they can't play another spell. So. Yeah, so let's assume they attack. If they don't attack, then I think we just hammer a lightning bolt, and they can't counter both. So unless they have, like, Absorb, that would suck. Then I think... I think we're in a pretty good spot. This this card scares me, though, man. This card scares me. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think either way I'm in a pretty decent spot. Um, so here's the play then, if they attack. Okay, they don't attack. Alright, here's the play then. I think we have to target face, because if we target the creature, then they counter-tap our team, and then... I guess that works too. I guess it's the same thing. I don't know, if we counter the creature and they have another Solitude, then I think they just win. I mean, is there any reason... Yeah, is there any reason to doubt... Let's see, what, what if they have Absorb? Um, which is modern legal now. If they have absorb, if we target the solitude, then. Uh, but let's think more likely if they've got another solitude. We hit the solitude. We attack. Our creatures get pumped. They play the other solitude. I guess yeah, that 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 won't do it for them because we just can kill the other solitude and they can't play another spell. Um. Let's see if they have Absorb. They count on the first spell, they go up to five. Then I guess we just burn Solitude and win. So I don't think it matters. So, whatever. We'll just lead off on on this. I don't, I don't think it makes a difference. Because even if they have Absorb, we just kill this, and then I think we've got Lethal. If they've got Cryptic, then we just play Bolt. They can't pass another spell. Now, what would be clever, and this, and this is one reason why we should lead on Hammer rather than Lightning Bolt, other than just in general instance being better, is that if they if they play Cryptic, bounce their moderation, then they could actually just run away with the game. But let's see. Okay, so they countered this, but... I mean, I'm kind of tempted to hit Solitude, but... Uh, am I missing something? Is there some type of... I mean, they can't play... More than one spell each turn. I don't know if there's some way for them to cheat a creature in play that doesn't involve casting it. But the problem is if I target them... I mean, they can't play a spell. Is there some way... Is there some way they could cycle a card and gain life? Maybe. 
Jeez, I just I'm not familiar with this list. Let's see, what if they've got Shark Typhoon? That's the more tested and true card. I mean, it still doesn't get it for them. I don't know what else they could be playing. I mean, they could be playing Secure the Waste, and they could get two tokens. That would actually uh, win them the game if they have Secure the Waste. I think Secure Waste is two. Let me look this up one second. Sorry, folks. Um, i got to look up Secure the Waste. I'm just thinking of every possible card they might have. Secure the Waste. Um, oh, yeah, Secure the Waste. Uh, that, that just instantly wins them the game. So let's uh, let's target them. I don't. Th there are I think some cycling cards that gain them life, but let's just hope that they're not on that. But secure the waste would be a. Wait a minute. They can't play secure the waste actually because it's a spell. Okay. Yeah. So sorry. Uh, sorry, uh, opponent. Um, I was not trying to slow roll. I was just trying to play around every possible workaround, which I have to imagine this deck's playing workarounds uh, to only one spell each turn. Um, I probably should have targeted it because there are probably some. I, I could have actually took, taken more time to do a deep dive on cards that gain life and cycle, but I have to. I don't think. I think most of those are mostly just pure gain life cards. I don't even know. One of them was Renewed Faith. I used to love that card back in the day, but that the problem is Renewed Faith would have actually put them out of burn range, <laughs> and that would have been a big problem. Okay, in this particular matchup, Mage of the Moon is almost as good as Blood Moon, except that they can evoke. It's definitely better than Flame Slash, wouldn't you agree? Although I think Relic is also better than Flame Slash, um, but I didn't see any... Uh... Oh, I think they're pretty much cut off from uh, from playing um, Snapcaster Mage, because they, by definition, Snapcaster Mage would realize I'm playing two spells. Um... Yeah, I'm scared by that card. Yeah, so I think we just play Magus instead of Flame Slash. Magus. Magus Beacon teaches Blood Moon. I think Pillage is a little too cute. Um, and I know these moon effects seem weird against a, uh, a two-color deck, but there's just a very good chance if we resolve one of these, then we cut them off of uh, double blue. And I think that I think the game becomes a heck of a lot harder for them. Now the problem is they still have Teferi, which is kind of comically easy for them to play even under Blood Moon. I don't know. I've liked Blood Moon enough that I'm definitely playing it. I think it's better than Pillage. Uh, yeah, the problem with Pillage is it relies on already having a, a Moon effect to really be good. And I'd rather just play more Moon effects. Moon effects are usually must counter, so at least at least they're usually worth a counter spell. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I just feel like Pillage is a little more win more in this matchup. Let's definitely mulligan this. Ooh, see, we could keep this hand, and the only reason we could is because of Temple. Well, alright folks, this could be a mistake, um, but I just, I just want to mull to 5. It's just really bad. I think Lightning Bolt. Is Lightning Bolt just not really at its best? against control. We really want to land threats, although they can kind of one-for-one one us with threats. Maybe we should have put a bone crusher at the bottom. Okay. There's our Magus Beacon Teaches Blood Moon. Alright, well, it just so happens we had a mountain sitting on top, but there was no guarantee about that. Ah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Would have been so much better. We could have already had our Swiss beer in play, but what can you do? All right, just on the off chance that they play like Sensor or something, let's just get this out because we really do need. Man, the problem with their spell that lets them only cast one spell each turn. Okay, counter spell, is that it makes their uh, their cantrips a, a lot lot worse. All right, hopefully. Hopefully we draw land. If they tap out and play their enchantment, yeah, hopefully we play the land. Okay, let's see here. Dang it, man! Alright, we gotta cycle this. Okay, okay. Alright, I see no reason why the best play isn't stomping in the end of the turn. What is this? Archmage's Charm, draw two cards? Okay, fair enough.
surprised more count more control decks weren't playing Archmage's Charm for a while. This, to me, it was very obvious that this was like a control player's dream come true. Um, ooh, well, I guess we'll. I don't know why they're playing Lana Sanctum. They're not a burn deck, but it doesn't matter. What? Okay. What does matter is I'm going to play Mages of the Moon. I think I have to do it now or forever hold my peace. Now, hopefully they don't play the blue card that puts a card on top. That would suck. Okay. <clears throat> now, they might just play Solitude or something and then just immediately kill this. But, yeah, I just feel like I don't want to give them the opportunity to play more fetches and then draw out of this. Okay, I'm going to try Season Pyromancer. I can't attack with this because... Okay, let's see here. Yeah, let's discard Lightning Bolt and Hammer. No, actually, let's discard a Bone Crusher. No, actually, yeah, Lightning Bolt because they, they turned off. Okay. And I don't know if they got, like, Shark Typhoon or... Okay. Yeah, also turning off Supreme Verdict is pretty important. Would be nice to draw some more creatures. I could play the other Magus, and that makes attacking with this Magus a little less risky, but... Well, I think I need to play the first Magus no matter what. I might... Yeah, I think I'll attack. I mean... Ah, this could be a mistake, but at least we're hedged a little bit. Okay, good. And now we got a little Blood Moon Insurance. Ah, oh, dang it. So now they might start Cryptic Commanding. Well, at least they can't keep us off of Blood Moon. The playline doing work here. The problem is, is that these creatures I'm playing don't actually advance the game, the game much. Because uh, at the end of the day... I don't know. Okay, well, I guess, I guess that's fair enough. So at the end of the day, they either have Cryptic or they don't, I think. Okay, well, I'll take it. All right, blue-white control down. 3-2 at least. Pretty good. All right, let's see. 